Is your team implementing a dark mode? I can tell you right up front that it can be a nightmare. And while I can't personally help you update all of your components to support dark mode, I can show you a much easier way to develop, document, and test your multi-theme components with a custom color scheme switcher inside of Storybook. That's a mouthful, so let's dive in. Today, we'll add a light and dark mode color scheme switcher inside of Storybook. This will utilize the global types and decorator systems. And if you'd like to learn more about those, check out this video where I create a custom toolbar item using global types. In this project, I have a little bit of setup with a new avatar component. So let me show that to you now. In Storybook, I have an avatar component. That component imports a CSS file and applies that class name avatar. In that CSS file, we see an avatar class selector, a handful of styles, but most notably this configurable border color, which we define in this color scheme CSS file. There are class selectors for both a color scheme light and color scheme dark. In addition to defining the background color, it also sets that avatar border color. Finally, this color scheme file is imported into our preview JS and available to all stories. Stories like the extremely basic story that I have here that imports our avatar components, a PNG, and creates this single story that we have here. That's it, that's all the existing setup. Now, to start our switcher project, I'll start with a decorator that shows our component in both themes at the same time. Add a decorator's property to this component meta. Add with color scheme to the decorator's array. Define that decorator. I'll paste in a pre-baked one that I made beforehand. We define a function with color scheme. Inside, I define a flex component, and I use that flex container twice, wrapping our story in both a light color scheme and a dark color scheme. Now that we see both color schemes working, let's add a toolbar item so that we can switch between individual themes or see them together. Open Storybook Preview JS. Define a global types named export. Add a new type with a name, description, default value, and toolbar config. This includes an icon, I'll use mirror, our options, light, dark, and both, and my preferred presentation of dynamic title. Hit save and we'll see the new toolbar item appear. We now have a switcher that will switch our global type, but our story doesn't yet respond to the changes in that global type. So let's jump back into our decorator and add that capability. Take the context argument and destructure our new scheme type off of context.globals. Next, we'll add a couple early returns based on the scheme value. If scheme is light, we'll return just that light color scheme. And if it's dark, we'll do the same thing for dark. Now we can use our custom toolbar item to switch between light, dark, and a two up of both. Now for my fellow Chromatic users, I wanna show you how you can make sure Chromatic sees the two up display for all of its snapshot. Let's jump to the top of this file and import is Chromatic from Chromatic is Chromatic. Now in our decorator, we can check when the environment is Chromatic and set the scheme to be both. Now in Storybook, we still have control over which view we see. And when we jump over to Chromatic, we see that it updates our one visual test for this component to be the two up display, meaning that we can validate both themes in a single snapshot. Now that you have a basic color theme switcher set up inside of your storybook, you may like to take your knowledge a little bit further. Well, if you'd like to learn more about global types and custom toolbar items, check out this video right here. And if you'd like to learn more about setting up visual testing with Chromatic, check out this video right here. If you have comments or questions, leave them in the comments section below or find me on Discord. That's it for me. I'm Chantastic. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.